And joining us now is former Los Angeles Police Chief Bill Bratton. Good to see you. Thanks for Good coming to be back. In. Thank you. What a strange story. Because of all places, I mean, Beverly Hills, there are very few murders. Usually maybe one a year, right? I and mean, it's an unusual place That's for a murder to take place. It's about the average. This has all the makings of a classic Hollywood whodunit. Lieutenant Columbo, this would be the type of sh uh, scenario you'd see in that old TV show. Right. I mean, she's on this kind of cross street that goes right across Beverly Hills. She's gunned down. Multiple shots, close range. If you were, if if you just come upon this, what in the, what would the, what would the several scenarios come to mind in terms of what would the, what could you possibly trace this back? Well, you start with the blank slate, and the scenarios are Los Angeles, possible gang drive-by, Beverly mm -hmm. Hills, very unlikely, road rage, very potentially likely in a lot of those incidents in California and Los Angeles. Right. Uh, crime of passion, somebody who knew her. Mm. Uh, they have not determined, to the best of my knowledge, as to whether there was possibly somebody else in the car. Right. Uh, fourth uh, could be the idea of an uh, uh, unintended consequence uh, that she was killed uh, and they were looking for somebody else. Yeah. It's, it seems to me, and not, you know, knowing so as little as we do, this feels, it has that Hollywood feel from the standpoint of so many um, uh, story movies have been done and stories told mm -hmm. about gangs and whatnot. Could it be one of those situations where we, we want you, here's this random person, go kill this random person. Is that a possibility? Well, that's one of the scenarios that uh, I laid out in Beverly Hills, much less likely than elsewhere in the Los Angeles region, where drive-bys, the dry, gang drive-by uh, basically was born in mm -hmm. Los Angeles. But Beverly Hills, uh, just doesn't have that type of uh, shooting. A road rage, uh, a much more likely type of event. The street she was killed on, I'm very familiar with it. It's a well-known shortcut from Wilshire mm -hmm. up to Sunset. And what they'll be doing is literally from where she left, the event that she was at, they mm -hmm. will look at every potential camera along that road right. uh, to determine was she caught at all? Uh, did she have an altercation somewhere along the line? Right. Uh, we get more and more familiar every day with the surveillance cameras kind mm -hmm. of popping up everywhere. Is that a place that typically would have maybe even, you know, some sort of coverage? Well, you have red light cameras mm -hmm. uh, in terms of you have cameras in the vicinity of stores. You have, that's a high security neighborhood. Right. Everybody has some type of security on the property. System, sure, there. right. So, literally, from where she left the Grumman Theater, that they will try to trace every potential camera along the route they believe she took. Now, one of the other parts of the story is they immediately went and they confiscated all of her computer files. Mm -hmm. Because if she had enemies, Theoretically, they'd be able, they, they would pop up someplace electronically. That's right. right. That's basic policing 101. You gather as much as you can. In this day and age, fortunately, you have a lot to gather. Computers at home, computers in the office, uh, phone records. Uh, I think there was uh, one report of uh, a message that she had left for herself, reminders of things to do the next day. So right. they'll have a lot to work with in the sense of uh, her own records. All right. Bill Bratton, pleasure to see you. Thanks nice to very be with much. with you also. Thank you. Really appreciate the insight.